Yo, 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 yo. Man, so funny story. I was on the podcast yesterday. Uh, I just literally hit record and I started talking. And then midway through the conversation, I realized the volume was not connected via the app. So I think I was talking some decent stuff yesterday. Nothing important, nothing important. But yeah, I swear. I swear I'm going to be super tired and fatigued today. I went to sleep. I slept good. See, I'm yawning now. I'm trying to get back to my five hours of sleep routine, but it's going to take a it's gonna take a little while to get back to that. Because, man, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. Uh, I've been sleeping in for the past week and a half. Sleeping in hit differently. It is different when you are like tired and then you get well rested and then you try to put some extra sleep in your sleep bank, but you never catch up on sleep. You know, that's something I learned at young age. You don't you know you don't catch up on sleep. So I was sitting there trying to just, you know, get maintained and balance, find me some therapeutic balance, and that's what I spent the break doing. And in the midst of doing that, uh, I learned one important thing that's a little scary. Man, I don't know if I be sleep. Because when I lay down and relax, I'm relaxed. That's sleep. But I swear, if I think I'm supposed to be up, I wake up. Like, I went to sleep, man, maybe 11-ish. And I got up at 3.35 and I was up and I was like, mm, I'm up. But being totally honest and transparent, I wanted to go do something, but man, it was cold. <laughs> it was super cold. So I put my clothes on, which was a really good idea. And it helped me get out the house a little easier. But I wanted to take them for a little walk run. But I was like, I can't get cold, then get hot. And then get cold again. So I was like, Michael, 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 Michael. So I kind of in and out of sleep for like two hours. Nah, about an hour. I finally got up. But yeah, I'll sit there and I meditate. I'm really good at meditating, but my meditation style felt like sleep. And that's why I said a little scary. I don't know if my body be sleeping now. But I'm working on relaxing. That's going to be my new key thing, just figuring out how to relax. Uh, hit the gym last two days. Uh, I convinced myself to work out at home, so that's going to help me out a lot. Well, I definitely got to, you know, hit the gym a little bit more consistently. It just, you know, 30, 45 minutes at least. Yeah, I'm trying to make me some stronger muscles. I don't know if I'm gonna gain anything. My eating habits are terrible. I had popcorn for dinner for the first time two nights ago. First time in a long time. My bad, not first time. And I realized, like, when I be eating, I don't really be eating no meat. So psychologically, I don't be full. Like yesterday, I ate uh, one of my Hello Fresh meals. And I ate like maybe two, three servings for dinner. But I literally eat those meals every meal now. Now I'm catching on to myself. I eat those meals two, three times a day. But it's proportioned when I set them. No, not eat them. Like when I ate three servings yesterday, it was like, it low key may have been like maybe two. Because I think I put, when I made the recipe, the recipe said four servings. I put that in like five, six containers. So, you know, it don't be enough food. I definitely eat enough food. But I consciously been on my my protein shakes every day. And that's been doing a great wonders and a little bit more water. So I figured that'll help me out a lot. Because even if it's a meal replacement type situation, it ain't really a meal replacement. Because like, Ideally, your meal should be about four or five hundred calories a serving. Shit, maybe more, you know. 
cook. You're supposed to eat 2,000 divided by three. You're looking at close to 700. So I don't be eating enough calories in my meal. That's why I be waking up hungry crazy. So uh, I definitely attacked me some cereal this morning. Some honey nut Cheerios with some almond milk. So I think that's been really, really good. So mom, body, spirit, kind of finding that balance and you know get myself back on some type of track but yeah i definitely got another like three months of this and it's like nah this ain't you know uh what's the consequences of this next check you know that's all i gotta say the consequences for this next check is super 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 critical and important to me you gotta get that bread right that bread ain't balanced. I get the bread, but it ain't balanced. So I was like, man, I make a lot of bread one weekend, and next weekend I don't make no bread. So, you gotta get it back consistent. See, that would happen when you ain't no boss. When you ain't a boss, you don't get no consistent bread. You gotta ask to get bread. I feel like that's always challenging when you got to ask to get bread. But, hey, who am I? I'm just a worker. You know, I'm not a boss yet. 2022, I'll be a boss. I'm not a boss right now. I just learned the ropes to being a boss. You got to get on my grind. A little bit more uh, balance. I uh, got to take a little bit more ownership. I think that'll help. Help me out in everything I'm doing. It's, uh, sometimes I don't know what I be doing. I know I be doing stuff. But yeah, that's all. So, we shall uh, start writing stuff down a little bit more. I like the podcast, but I gotta get back to writing stuff down on paper, just looking at it on paper and learning how to uh, build stuff a little bit better and being being a little bit more me because when you're more me more you you have a better sense of you know outcomes and desires when you don't have your appropriate desires and outcome everything is all good until you really get a good reflection of what you're doing it's like oh that don't make any sense and when stuff don't make sense you're not going to do too well in it. So, we shall see. We shall see. But, you know, if everybody's going to do their own thing, everybody's going to do their own thing. You know? And when people continue to do their own thing, you got to let them. I think I'm a little salty yesterday. I had a training session. I didn't get paid my full amount. And it made me feel kind of a certain way. But... Sometimes those free trainings are an, an investment to the get go. I guess I was kind of like, that's prices for the individuals in the group. If you by yourself, by yourself, I was just like, uh, nah, they ain't gonna like that. They definitely gonna like that too much. But we shall see. We shall see. Because you're paying for the showcase. And when you're paying for the showcase, uh, you got to put the show on. And if you ain't putting a good show on, you ain't got a good product. If you ain't got a good product, you ain't doing that. So, I think I probably just need to better fix my product. So my product been a little sloppy. A little too sloppy. So, if I can figure out how to make it unsloppy, I think everything will be a little bit better for me. But also, you know, it's sounding real selfish. I think that's part of uh, power. You know, you gotta be a little selfish in what you're doing. And when you don't consciously do those things, you run into those problems. Yeah, I got a little quiet stroke on something.
little crazy. Truck ran up on a van in the far slow lane all the way on his tail just to go around and I'm like you could have went around earlier. little bit too early to be driving that crazy. It can't be that serious. It can't be that serious, but you know, you got three lanes, four lanes to ride on, and you're gonna ride up on the back of the slow lane. Sound like somebody need to get to the outside a little bit. But hey, who am I? I'm just a early morning driver. That's how I like it. Go back to the uh, back to the meditate. Meditate is super, super critical when you consciously do it. Because we meditate. Sometimes we are distracted when we're meditating. Yeah. And that can disturb the peacefulness that you're trying to uplift and bring to importance. So it's super important when you're meditating to have it peaceful. Now for me, I come to realize I like noise. But the kind of noise I like is uh, love to start now. I'll, I'll just listen to some, just some noise on YouTube. I think two nights I went to sleep with my Xbox my Xbox on and I fell asleep and it shuts off automatically so that's really really good but I was just like yeah can you go to sleep with quietness and I'm like nah not me don't get too much quiet out of me I like to talk I like to hear noise I think that's why I like to talk so we shall see how you know <laughs> those go when you meditate and you're more positive you know that's that's one of the things I would say about me I'm not positive got a lot of negative energy around me I think that disturbs me a little bit sometimes taking on people's negative energy to try to convert it to something positive cause I feel like I get something out of it that's what all them darn years of social work did to somebody. Man, you be trying to make everybody day better, everybody life better. You ain't gotta let them people just, you know, deteriorate. Can't be just out here saving everybody. Because, you know, saving everybody don't help you when you need saving. Gotta focus on yourself a little bit more. Gotta be a tad bit selfish. But we shall see. We shall see how those things go. Cause you know you gotta fake it till you make it. But sometimes you gotta learn how to fake it. You know, I think I forgot how to fake it. But I will say, you know. I've definitely got to the point where I'm only excited to do stuff that I want to do. It's hard for me to get excited to do something somebody else want to do. I will say that that, that does like disturb me a little bit when I'm doing things. Like I don't do well in groups like I used to because I be with a group and I'm like, all right, y'all, why are we doing this? And then my competitive nature goes away when I feel like you know, somebody ain't on my level. But I don't think it's my skill level. I think it's my mental mentality level. Because I had a really really bad experience playing freaking basketball in a group. And I, you know, because I play a certain way. And when I can't play with people who play that way, it just makes it I don't want to do it. You know, I think that's why I started coaching. And I knew something was wrong with me when I started coaching my uh, re recreational men's team. I was out there trying to like get them to like just 
ball hard, play, move around, make it fun, win, lose a draw. I mean, you know, folks started doing stuff, and I'm like, why are you doing that? And then instead of me just letting people do stuff, I'm like, why are you doing that? But I don't think my mom is right to be playing, you know, that particular league. And then now we playing volleyball, and I'm like, after the first two games, I was like, Man, I don't want to play no damn volleyball. It's too darn cold. I don't even know how to play. I thought I knew how to play. Nah, I'm good. Because it sounds crazy, but, like, I don't want to be the reason we lose. But, dang, we be losing. <laughs> so, I'd be like, mm. and same thing with basketball, you know. We would lose in basketball, and I'd be like, okay. And then we win in basketball, I'll be like, hey, y'all, why we can't play this every day? But hey, who am I? I think that's what Danny told drugs. Who am I? But hey, we shall see. We shall see. Bye. Mind right, body right, soul right. All right. Holla.